Hi everyone. Through this class, we are going to study about free dissociation. The central continuum occurring at energies below the true dissociation limit is referred to as free dissociation. Diagrammatic illustration of appearance of free dissociation is shown here. The rotational fine structure is clearly seen above and below the pre dissociation region. But in this region, the fine structure becomes blurred and lost. The pre dissociation can arise when the Mohs curves of a particular molecule in two different excited states intersect. One such a possibility is shown here. One of the excited state it is stable since there is a minimum for this excited state and the other it is continuous. The vibrational levels are marked as A, B, C etc. Suppose a transition takes place from some lower state into levels named A, B or C, a normal vibrational electronic spectrum occurs with the rotational fine structure. Two such bands we can see here. If the transition from lower electronic level to upper electronic energy level is at D, E or F, since there is a crossover point at this E, there is a possibility that the molecule will cross over to this electronic energy level and it will dissociate. In general, Transition from one curve to another in this way is called radiationless transfer since no energy is absorbed or emitted in this process. And this transfer, it is faster than the time taken by the molecule to rotate. We know that time taken by the molecule for rotation is 10 raised to minus 10 seconds. But usually it will be slower than the vibrational time 10 raised to minus 13 seconds. This type of dissociation before the actual dissociation limit is known as pre-dissociation. Thus the pre-dissociation can occur before the molecule rotates and thus all rotational fine structure will be destroyed in the spectrum. But here the vibrational structure is normally not destroyed. Continuum occurs due to pre-dissociation. It is shown here. On the other hand, transitions into levels G, H, I, etc. will give rise to normal vibrational electronic spectrum including rotational fine structure once more. As we have studied that molecule spends most of the time at extreme ends rather than in between, the possibility of crossing to this higher electronic energy level is negligibly small. So, normal spectrum results and we get bands like this.